Well, hello everyone, how are you? It's lovely to see you again and I hope you've all had a brilliant week this week and welcome back to What's For Tea. Like I said, lovely to see you all. Or if you're not normally here, welcome to you as well. This is What's For Tea and my name is Cheryl and this is just the part of the week where I show you our family meals. But just before I move on, I wanted to say a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page. So thanks once again, guys. It does mean, as you know, ever so much. So yeah, big, big thank you. If you want to check out Patreon for yourself and maybe consider signing up, you'll find a link in the description box underneath this video. So yeah, go and check that out if you're interested. So starting off on Monday, we had ham and cheese pasta bake. Really, really simple. This It's basically a macaroni cheese, but I've added in some shredded smoked ham and put a wee bit of uh, panko breadcrumbs and cheese on top. And we had that with some cauliflower and some cracked black pepper. Now that's again, like I said, very simple, but absolutely delicious and lovely. You know, it was a lovely warming pasta meal this. So yeah, we all enjoyed that. Now moving on to Tuesday and with some wee individual mince pies. These are just pucker pies. And we had some pan fried potatoes, some frozen mixed veggies, and that's the mince pie. There's bags of gravy in these, so I didn't need additional gravy. Now moving on to Wednesday, you'll have seen this already if you watch the recipe that I posted. So I had a side salad, some frozen chips at the side, and that's the chicken schnitzel there. And this was absolutely fabulous. And I just threw together a quick garlic mayonnaise just to pop on top of the salad to make it a wee bit more wet to save it being so dry. And it was delicious. Now moving into Thursday with good old bangers and mash. This is a big favourite in our house. So we had some creamy mashed potatoes, some pork sausages and of course baked beans we've got to have with this kind of thing. A classic but yeah brilliant. Moving on to Friday, a wee different one. I made some Cajun chicken. So that's some chilli and garlic greens with some savoury chicken rice. And that's a chicken breast. And I just sort of put a dry rub on, popped it into the oven and just sliced it up. And this was really nice. It's a kind of lighter meal for a warmer day. Moving on to yesterday and we had mince. I've done some mince in the slow cooker. So with some roast potatoes instead of our normal mashed potato, again with the mixed veggies that I've got to use up, that's our mince and onions and I also had some short crust pastry I had to use up as well. And I'll leave the recipe for this minced beef in the slow cooker down in the description box in case you want to recreate it for yourself. Moving on to today and we had steak pie. This steak pie is from the local butcher. So I had some baby potatoes and also some buttered cabbage, a wee bit of mashed turnip, and that's the steak and sausage and gravy, with some puff pastry and a wee lonely <laughs> potato croquette on this side. And this was smashing. So that was our meals for this week. So thank you all very much for watching if you're leaving at this point. So yeah, so hopefully you'll subscribe if you do like these kinds of videos. For everybody else staying on, this is just a selection of your comments from my videos this week. So let's go and see what you are saying this week. First comment this week says, every one of your posts makes me happy and leaves me feeling calm and in a good mood. You're a good medicine, sweet friend, much love from America. Well, thank you very much for your kind comment there. You know, it does make me smile when I do get these kinds of comments because if I've managed to brighten up your day or lift your mood, even for seven or eight minutes of your day, you know, that's all to the good because I just love making these videos. So if you're out there enjoying my wee videos, then I shall continue you to make them so thank you for your comment your next comment is from Sonia I love your shopping hauls they always cheer me up well again thank you very much Sonia and like I said before if you're out there enjoying my videos and getting anything from them then that's all to the good that's why I do them and yeah so thank you for your comment Sonia 
Next comment's from Ria Long, and she's written, here in America, they're talking about meat shortages. I was wondering if you're having the same problem where you are. My husband thinks I'm bonkers because I buy meat whenever I go out to the shop, but he'll be happy if the meat supply is cut off, lol. No, actually, I haven't noticed that, Ria, but we do get the majority of our meat from the local butcher where there doesn't seem to be any problems. The only difference is now you've got to phone your order in the morning and then go and pick it up, you know, to avoid queues and things but I haven't noticed any meat shortages but I don't know maybe if it's different in the supermarket because I haven't been looking for meat in the supermarket but I haven't really noticed and it hasn't been an issue for me but that's a shame you know if you are having these sort of problems but as I said before you know fingers crossed it doesn't last too much longer so thank you very much for your comment and thanks for watching. Your next comment is from GBT and they've written off topic but I noticed you use cash. Does it help you stay on a food budget? My grocery bills have been so much higher during lockdown. Well yeah see that's sometimes I use cash and sometimes I'll you know I'll use my card. It just depends what how much cash I've got on me at the time because I don't get money from the cash line or you know the, the ATM beforehand. If I've got enough cash on me to cover it I'll just pay cash. If I don't then I'll just use my card. So it just depends what the shopping bill comes to and what I've actually got on me at the time because sometimes I don't have any cash, it's just my card that I'll have on me. So it really just depends what I've got, you know, at the time. So no, it doesn't really affect a shopping budget or how much I spend. It really just, like I said, depends on what I've got in my pocket at the time. But thank you very much for your comment. The next comment is from George Berg and he's written, we had the Twister style ice pops here in Houston a few years ago, but we don't have them anymore. Yeah, they're fabulous, aren't they? They're so tasty. Really like them. I'm jealous. Well, that's a shame and I hope you get them back soon because it's definitely one of my favourites. You've got that lovely layer of the creamy ice cream and a lovely sharp zingy sort of fruit sorbet contrast. They're just wonderful and quite low in calories as well. So yeah, win-win. So thank you for your comment. Your next comment is from Glitter Butt and they've said, Hi Cheryl, what do you have in your pita breads? I never had them. Thanks for your lovely shopping videos. I love to see them. Cheers and best wishes from here and Australia. Love Jasper. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Well, the pita breads, I generally will put salad inside and I found a wonderful mock kebab meat by Vivera which is just fabulous but anything anything you would use as a sandwich filling I would say you know you could put in a pita bread but I like to toast mine just for a couple of minutes to soften it up and give it a wee bit of crunch and it makes it nice and warm but definitely something like cold meat and salad or any kind of sort of kebab type meat or even chicken would be nice inside them but yeah they're quite versatile and uh, Jasper said Thank you very much. And uh, he loves himself. <laughs> He's a wee poser. So thank you very much for your comment and thanks for watching. Your next comment is from In a Small Town in Australia. They've written, Hi, the KFC looks familiar as that shop staying to open 24 hours. Thank you for sharing your vlog from Michelle in Australia. Yet yeah, KFC, they're everywhere. As you can see there, you know, you just can't. There's no mistake in a KFC. And that one there is normally queued around the block. But, you know, it's just so bizarre when you drive by now and there's no cars there because, like I said, Every time you drive by, it's always queued round the corner. Yeah, that Asda is 24 hours, so you can go in any time and pick up what you want, with the exception of alcohol. Here in Scotland, you can't buy alcohol between the hours of 10 at night and 10 in the morning. And that's only been introduced for uh, less than 10 years, I would say. Not that long. Before, you know, before that, you could buy any time of the day, but... In Scotland, between the hours of 10 in the morning, oh sorry, 10 at night and 10 in the morning, you cannot buy alcohol, but everything else you can buy. And yeah, it's open 24-7. Thank you very much for your comment. Your next comment is from Ginger Hammond and she simply asked, what does Moorish mean? Now I was talking about crisps and how incredibly Moorish they were. Moorish just simply means you want more and more of them because they're so tasty. Something like Pringles or peanuts, you know, something that you might only want to take one or two of or a few of and you end up eating the whole thing. <laughs> it just, that's what Moorish means. Just basically tasty and you want more. So that's it. So thank you for your comment. 
And your last comment this week was Melissa Huffman. She's written, Hi from Iowa. Well, hello. <laughs> I have a question. Is Asda there what Walmart is in the States? Thanks. I love your videos. Yeah, they're both one and the same, Melissa. Um, Asda is owned by Walmart, so they're basically the same. I don't think that's always been the case, though. I think that's just been in the last number of years that Walmart has acquired Asda, but yeah, they're exactly the same. Things that you would find in Walmart and the layout and the sort of prices and things are just exactly the same from what I've seen anyway on videos that I watch. I've never actually been into a Walmart, but it's one of it's on the bucket list, you know. I, I've been to New York. Um, that's the only place I've been to in the States and it was fabulous, but it was more of a sightseeing sort of trip. So I didn't get to do all the things that, you know, I have got lots of things on my bucket list. And one of them is to go to a few different um, American supermarkets and just load up on all of your sweet treats and things. Now, I know a, a lot of people will say, oh, you don't want to eat those snacks. They're full of chemicals and additives and this, that and the other. But I just love them. And I reckon a wee bit of, of something, you know, it doesn't do you any harm does it so that's my videos for th that my video for this week and responding to some of your comments and I would love to respond to each and every one of you individually but unfortunately it's just not possible with the amount of comments that you know pop up on the channel but thank you all for watching this week and I hope to see you during the week so until I see you mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon back on what's for tea so take care bye now